Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another Revit Tools video. In this video, we'll be looking at the trim and extend tools in the modify tab up here. If we click the trim and extend tool, we're prompted to first select somewhere we'd like to trim or extend an object. So at this point, I can select anything that is a straight face and it could be these lines with this casework, uh, reference lines built into these sinks, edges of walls, doors, reference line built in the, into doors, the ends of walls, it, really anything, you can choose anything. And so for an example, I've got this basic floor plan laid out. I've also got some beams and some lines because these the trim and extend tool works with walls, beams, and lines both model and detail lines. So if I were to select the edge of this wall, I'm then prompted to select a wall, beam, or line that I'd like to extend or trim to this reference point or this reference line that I've chosen. So if I hover over this wall, you can see that I get a dashed line that shows that this wall is going to be extended all the way to that wall that I've previously selected as a, a reference. And if you, if you look here, actually, it is currently highlighted as blue that shows me that that is selected as my reference point, my reference line. So things will extend and trim to that point. And as I hover over these different walls, you can see I do get this, this dash line all the way to that, that line. So if I click there, I, have, I, have, I can see that wall is extended all the way to that line. It makes perfect sense. So... Again, I've got the trim extend tool selected. And if I select this line here, I can start to see that I have these different options to trim and extend to. It's something to note because this is very important. I'll actually reference this edge of the wall right there. And something to note, when it, or whenever you're going to select the portion that you'd like to trim or extend, be it a wall, line, or beam, the dashed portion or the side you select will be kept. And to better display that, I've, I have selected the edge of the wall there. And as I hover over the edge, or as I hover over this wall, you can see the dashed portion is what I'll keep. And as I go from one side of that reference being there in the center, to the other, you can see I, I now keep one side of the wall versus the other as soon as I cross that edge. So that's nice to know that the portion you select is the portion you keep, hence the trim or extend. Depending on how you use the tool, the result will be a trim or an extension. So if I select this side, you can see that portion of the wall is trimmed. So that's great. So I've said all of that about the trim and extend tool, but there's also the trim and extend multiple elements tool. Now, I, I will say I could have completely forgotten and not even talked about the trim extend single element tool because it is in fact the exact same for the trim and extend multiple elements. So I find the way I work, I don't even bother with trimming and extending the single element because I can do the same thing and also utilize the multiple elements with the trim extend multiple elements tool. I can't honestly say why they're two different tools, but they are and we're gonna treat them that way. So you just saw the single element trim and extend tool. Now I'll show the multiple elements. So we select that trim and extend multiple elements. It's gonna work just the same. I'm first gonna need to select an endpoint, endpoint or edge condition. So I'll, I'll select that edge of the wall there. And you can again see that it's selected based on the blue. And now I have the option to do the exact same thing as the trim extend single element. As I highlight, or as I hover over these walls, you can see that the result is the dashed line. And so this tells me that the wall will be extended all the way to that wall there in this case. So if I select that, now you can see the wall is extended. I will undo that and I'll again select that 
edge of the wall. But now, instead of selecting just one of these walls, maybe I want to extend both of these walls to this. I will not, I can either choose each one, one, two, or what's even easier is I can select the edge of the wall and just swipe across both and I get my result. Very simple, just like before, it works the same, but it's multiple elements, really easy. So we can get crazy with it too because I can select the edge of the wall and I can select all of these walls. So if I, to, to tell you what would happen, the three walls to the right would extend to this wall and this fourth wall here would be trimmed to that wall. And we could see all of that happen at once because we forced this edge of the wall to be that point. Of course, I need to unjoin because this wall was shooting all the way up here through doors, walls, whatever. It's going to ask me to unjoin just because that wall is being trimmed so far down. I'll hit unjoin. Of course, I'm losing doors because I am no longer hosted. The doors are no longer hosted at this wall. But you can see the result is all of these walls end up in the same place along that edge. It's exactly what I want. So now, I'll take this all the way over here where I have some beams. And it works the exact same with beams. I'll use this beam and I'll create another beam that's floating out here. And I'll go to the Trim Extend Multiple tool. I'll select this beam. It doesn't necessarily matter where I select on the beam because of how beams join together. I've got a different tutorial for beam joins if you want to look at that specifically, but it doesn't really matter. I'll select a point here and now I can see as I hover over these beams the result and if I select all of them in this case they're all trimmed or extended in this case to that beam and they're perfectly joined right there so if I extend a couple of these through as if they were passing through the beam and I wanted to fix them from passing through the beam I could use again the same trim and extend tool select the tool I will select a point on the beam and if I then select on this side of the beam I'm going to end up losing or trim trimming all of these beams to that reference line if I do that I am I've chosen the side that I want to keep and I'm trimming them down and if I undo that I'm going to now select the center of the beam as a reference but now I'll select these two so now the result is that the beams on the other side of that reference are now trimmed to this point so it works just the same over here with lines I'll select this line and I can individually or multiply pick different lines and extend them to the line whether it's angled or not. And that's the really nice point about the tool. I'll delete this and I'll draw a detail line. And then this time I'm gonna curve this line, make it a little different. So now I will select the Trim and Extend Multiple Elements tool. I will select this curved line and then select these lines. And you can see regardless of the curve, all of these lines are extended to that curved line and we can begin to get weird with this and I can start angling all of these lines whether it's a, the same angle or not they can pass through each other doesn't necessarily matter just like that and now Maybe you've got some weird condition like this where you have walls converging on different points, but you know you want to keep this line constant. So that's where the Trim and Extend Multiple Elements tool comes in perfectly. So now I can select this curved, tool, or this curved line here, and I can select all of these lines at once, and we can expect that every line on the other end of the curve will be trimmed all the way to the curve. Perfect exactly what I want. It works just the same way on the other side, just like that.
If you enjoyed this video and learned something, which I hope you did, if you would please leave a like, it certainly helps me out. Also, please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I've always got some more Revit tutorials coming out, be it Revit tools, Dynamo, whatever else. I've got a lot planned for the future. So please subscribe if you enjoyed this. I hope you had a good day. Thanks for watching.